going on everybody welcome back today guys to the channel we're back here on the playstation 5 and i have found my drive club disc man i've entered it into my console and we are ready to relive this experience of drive club this was a great game if you guys remembered it we did a lot of episodes on the channel drifting racing online and unfortunately i didn't play enough of it um and the server shut down last year march 31st 2020 servers were officially shut down and uh drive club is no longer a thing you cannot buy it online uh the only way to play this is if you actually have the physical disc so we're gonna go down memory lane for today and we're gonna play a little bit of drive club before we start today dad joke of the day coming from quentin dagner and he goes dad joke i'm on a seafood diet when i see food i eat it right oh my goodness probably the oldest dad joke in the book hit me your best dad jokes in the comment section down below huge thanks for watching and of course don't forget to slap that like button now of course everything is blanked out on here create a club browse clubs all that has been disbanded um, and no longer available right, we have our my garage as well too a lot of these cars i have to unlock and the account that i used on the playstation 4 uh didn't sync over here so it probably is on my ps4 i'll have to go upstairs there with a stick load it into the ps5 and then transfer it over but uh for right now we're on a level one account we're here with the basics and i do believe though i have all of the dlc cards that was one of the biggest things because there was a lot of dlc that came with this game if we go into drive club we go to the tour um we have the ignition we have the red line apex I think the elements was a free one of the downforce the lamborghini pack midnight there was so much in this game and it really was and i mean mixed in with the visuals the gameplay this was a great game all right i figured we we're gonna start off today with the red line pack and let's go right into the mclaren 1992 versus 2014 and it's hop in the driver's seat here and this game just had so much to offer we have the p1 gtr the f1 lm and then we have the regular p1 as well all the colors the details on this game the environments all of it just it really stood out as a game that i was super impressed with and everybody loved this game and everyone was so sad to see this just stop being made and i'm not really too sure what happened if you guys know you know with what exactly happened i do know some of the game developers did branch off but no game has replicated drive clubs force feedback and the feel of how the car actually felt on the road i don't know okay here we go back on the driver's seat of drive club now uh the main thing right now though is force feedback is not really all there and i cannot get manual shifting to work so i think it's because of the fact that i'm using uh one of the new wheels here i have my dd1 base on here and that kind of you know update where it has allowed these direct drive wheels to be used because i don't think i've used a direct drive wheel on this game before and i think that's the issue so i could be wrong but oh sorry Oof. Look at the mountains off in the distance. Oh my god, they're huge, man. Look how big they are. You can actually look all the way around here. 360 degrees. Oh shit. Let's not do that as we're racing. Nice and steady. Got the buildings too. This game did a great job with the depth of these maps. It really did. You know, really bring to life the elevation of everything. It was so sad, man. I was really waiting for that next drive club. I mean, maybe we will get it. I'm not really too sure. I don't think... I mean, I don't think we're ever going to get it. Because um, a lot of the team did disband. But if they can bring back the people that made these physics, I think that's really all that they need, right? I mean, I don't know. Here we go, here we go. We even had the weather. Let's go in the cockpit view for these next few laps. Look at this view. Right, as old as this game is, it looks beautiful. It looks so realistic, man. Right? Oh my goodness. If you guys have ever played Drive Club, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I uh, did a lot of videos on it. There was a bag floating by. What was that? was a bag. Plastic bags on the road. Never thought I'd see that in Drive Club. Oh shit. That's understeer. That's easy to do. Just hit this right button on the uh, right on the D-pad. And there you go server notification is gone i can actually enjoy the game now thank you look at this wheel though look at the guy's hands even the guy's hands look real life like what the hell man they did such a good job at these guys holding the wheel shifting you can actually see his hand shifting the wheel and this is one of the only games really that does the full 900 degrees on the hands when he is turning and drifting it's it's pretty cool to see it and again um not a lot of games have been able to replicate that 
Come on out. Push him a little bit. Even look around too as we're driving. Look down if you wanted. What? The, that's so sick. Folks on the drive, sorry. This guy just rear ended me hard. Try to look around, sir. Got those rear views. Also, too, this game did VR. I have this in VR as well, which uh, might be worth a revisit now. The fact that there's nothing else to do on this game. Ooh. Excuse me. Right, I mean, obviously, this is not a simulation game. It was never meant to be a sim game, but uh, this is a fun game. A very, very fun game. If you guys have not played this, definitely find the disc somewhere at GameStop, boot this up, and enjoy it. Right, now, another cool thing about this game is that you can actually customize your character. It's like character customization long ago. And I'm wondering how many we had here. What, what the hell was that on the guy's head? Oh, it's a tree branch behind him. I thought it was a little mohawk or something popping up. Six, seven, eight drivers. Oh my god. So there's eight different character models. I'm gonna go with that one there. Body. It's got a nice sweater, vest. I'm gonna go with that one there. Helmet shape. Oh, that's super cool. You can change the whole helmet shape of it. Helmet six. Helmet seven. Look how many different helmets there are. That's super cool. What's on these last races? What are these? Pacific Lightweight Series, the Lycan Hot Lap, M4 Drift. We can take a little M4 around here. Let's go for it. Not even too sure where we're going here, but let's go ahead and change the color. Maybe... Oh, that blue. I'm always loving that blue on these BMWs. Oh, almost forgot here too. Hot Wheels of the day. This one's a custom Ford Maverick. We got the huge wide body kit on here. We got the gold wheels. Love this car. I picked this up, I think, at the Super Center or Walmart or whatever. I feel like an idiot, man. Who signed this thing? I don't know whose signature that is. It doesn't say on the box. Horsey but... bag's there, but it's just it doesn't pull anything. So it's it, it's a little bit weird. I've never really hooked up the uh, the actual DD1 to this game before, so you can tell why. Hey, not terrible. Oh, shit. Yes, it is. Oh. I just stomped my brake to get it to drift a little bit. Oh, shit. So we had no handbrake, I don't think, do I? No, no handbrake, sadly. Oh, look at the flowers on there. Oh, hold it. Hey, got 4,000. We got bronze, man. Nothing wrong with bronze out here. Uh, if you replay, please, thank you. Let's look at how good this game was, man. Just take Drive Club in for a quick second here. We're going to go ahead, hide the HUD. Even the replay angles. I mean, this was a sim arcade game, I felt like, because it had that hardcore setting. Uh, but at the end of the day, though, it was just, it was an arcade game, right? But it was a very fun arcade game. It had the drift smoke, it had the drifting, it had the cockpit views, it had the replays. I mean, oh my god. All right, we had the weather system as well, too. This game just really did a lot of things right. And unfortunately, um, you know, it just, it didn't last as long as I hoped it to be. I mean, we had a couple big DLCs come out. We had all those expansions come out, new vehicles. However, uh, just, I guess, wasn't enough. Didn't bring in enough revenue, I guess. I'm not, I'm not really too sure. Theory of Evolution. Oh, I like this here. Let's go for this here. And this is what I like. This, right, these races all had some type of meaning to it. They were all kind of, you know, around the same car group. Love seeing every door open and close. That was one of my favorite things about this game, man. Absolute favorite. I found this, though. I was I was very happy I found this because I actually bought this a while back. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, this is not on the storefront anymore. It's gone. I mean, just look at the cinematic cutscenes. I mean, no other game did it like Drive Club did, man. Rest in peace to this game, man. This, this was a good game. Definitely will remember Drive Club. Hopefully, we get another one one day. It's too good not to. I'm gonna start off a little bit of cockpit view. Oh shit. Sir, if you could not get into my door, that'd be great. This car is very quick. I feel like I'm at an arcade now, not playing with a lot of force feedback. It's tough to get the power down. <laughs> Come on now. Oh! Pace setter. What are these ones here? Ooh, Pacific Drift. BMW 1 2. 
Let's run some beamers. Here we go. M235. We have the 235i or the 135i here. I like that a lot. There was no wheel customization on this, unfortunately, but you didn't need it, man. The, right, the paint was enough for me to just, you know, make me smile when you change it. He gets in the car. You're ready to go on your cruise. All this game was missing was just some open lobbies, some free roam and stuff like that. If they did just one big map with all these maps combined, this game could have been crazy, man. It really could have. What the? You got the massive truck in there? What the hell? It's huge. Oof. A little bit of a slower race here, too, thankfully. Right on him, right on him. Oh, shit. This game made you pay for going off the road, too. The game was fun, but it was really unforgiving on some of these corners. Because the turbos, you just hear them when you get your foot off the gas a little bit there. Got a little bit of rain. Look at that first droplets coming down on the windshield. That's so cool to see. This game was so next-gen without even being next-gen, right? <laughs> like, what? Got those mountains too. Oh, the guy pushed me right into there. Some bullshit. We did have our little face-offs here too. You have to stay within the line. Get the most. And then turn would open up objectives that you'd have to complete to unlock the cars. Hey, we did that one. Heck yeah. A little weight transfer coming in. Three more laps left? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see his hand movements in here again. Oh, look at the windshield wipers go. Oh, this game is so cool, man. Drive Club will forever be one of my favorite PlayStation games, I think. My favorite racing games, right? I mean, all this game is missing was just a proper story mode. Yeah, this game definitely going down memory lane, man. This has been a lot of fun today. Opposite, kin, reversed. We're definitely going white. But the wheel works, it's just unfortunately uh, not the way that I wanted it to work for today, right? We don't have that proper force feedback that'll really allow us to uh, dial in and actually drift properly. So we're stuck with what we got today. And I mean, like I said, I don't mind that. It kind of makes me feel like I'm at an arcade when you don't really have a lot of force feedback, but you just have enough to feel it a little bit, right? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Huge thanks for watching today. Drive club. What? what? Come on, game. Let me have a little bit of fun. Jeez, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.